Hey guys, welcome to the 71st C-Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to have a status log on your program. So basically, like a status log is something that you can tell your clients or the users of your application what's going on with your program, like news about it, or you can really have it say anything right here. And instead of having you just set the text box as text equal to something, we're going to make it something or make there be a way so you change something on a server and every um, person who opens this program will see the same message no matter what version their application is. So in order to do that you're just going to want to go open up your web browser and go to webs.com and then you're going to want to create an account. I already have an account so I'm not going to do that but it's pretty easy. Just type in your email a password that you want and uh, your site type it really doesn't matter and then just click get started. Um, once you've all got your account set up, just sign in. I'm just going to sign in mine. And once you're signed in, go over to File Manager right here. And then select Single File Uploader. And make sure you have a, some sort of text document ready. I just have a text document called Status. Um, it doesn't really matter what the name is or what the contents of it are because you can edit that later. But once you have a text file already, just open that and click upload file. And then it will upload the file to um, right here. And then you can edit that file just by clicking this little pen right here and click edit. And now you can um, make it anything you would like. I'm just going to say welcome to my app location. And I spelled welcome wrong. Alright. And then just click save. And now it will save whatever we've written there. Now um, we can go back into C sharp and we're going to have it load what we just wrote um, right here in the status text into this text box. And we're going to have it do that on the form load. So we're just going to go over to events right here and click load. And in order to download data from the internet, we're going to need to be using the system.net class or namespace. And then we're going to want to create a new um, web client class. And we're going to do, I'll just call it WC for web client. And then set it equal to a new web client. And then we're going to set textbox one's text equal to what this web client downloads from um, this status text right here. So we're going to do WC dot download string. And then we're just going to put the address to the string that we want to download. And the address to that is, um, all you have to do is just click on the file that you uploaded, and it'll take you right to the page of that, and then just copy that URL. Press Control C or right click and click Copy. And then just paste that right in here as a string. So now um, it will download whatever we put as our text document, and we put welcome to my application. So as soon as we load up this uh, program right here, we should see welcome to my application in this text box right here. Yep, welcome to my application. And we could change it to something else right here. If we were to change it to welcome to my application, um, and then I could say I have added many new features. have wrong but click save and now we should see I have added um, many new features in the text box as well so wait for this to load here yep we also see I have added many new features so this is just a really quick and easy way to make it so you can download um, a string or have uh, a status of your program and if you have web hosting or something like that, you can obviously host your text file on your hosting. But this is just um, a free and easy way to do it. So that's it for this tutorial. So see you guys.